Hello and welcome to What Students Learn in Composition and What They Don't, one of the SLCC Writing Across the College Transforming Talk videos. These videos take an in-depth look at fundamental issues in writing instruction at SLCC. They can be watched individually or can provide the basis for deep conversations about how we use writing pedagogies to foster student success. This transforming talk discusses the assumptions and realities of what SLCC students learn in their required composition courses and how you can use that knowledge to improve writing assignments and student writing in your own classes. According to SLCC Writing Across the College surveys, more than 90% of faculty at SLCC regularly assign writing to their students. However, most faculty don't provide in-depth instruction on how to succeed in these assignments. In many ways, this makes sense because very few faculty were hired to teach writing. In fact, only 8.5%. That means roughly 80% of our faculty assign and evaluate writing without a background in writing pedagogies. There's not really another learning activity that requires this. No one expects a Spanish teacher to assign math or chemistry activities to their students, nor is a geology instructor required to teach painting or welding. For all of the calls for increased interdisciplinarity, such as through learning communities and other high impact practices, Faculty remain highly disciplinary because the academic landscape continues to value expertise inside of fairly distinct areas. Even so, most faculty are expected to use writing as a teaching tool in their classes. Obviously, this is not specific to SLCC. Across all educational institutions, students are assigned to write. For most part, this is a good thing. Writing can enhance and strengthen learning in many ways. It can serve as a means to demonstrate knowledge, to develop critical thinking, to explore ideas and options, and to solve problems. Writing is central to our education. Additionally, to be able to write and communicate effectively is one of the most requested abilities from employers today. Because of these educational and sociocultural norms, faculty assume that they should assign writing to students. They will collect that writing, they will evaluate it. It has been this way for many, many decades. Faculty have experienced a wide range of responses to it for just as long. Occasionally, there's satisfaction. But most often we feel frustration, insecurity, resentment, and apathy. Why is this? It surely stems at least somewhat from the fact that faculty are teaching something that they have not necessarily been prepared for. It is also due to the reality that writing is difficult that teaching writing is difficult, and that evaluating writing is difficult. Writing, even at a fairly simple level, is incredibly complex. Think of all the elements that go into effective writing. Appropriate language use, audience awareness, content, grammar and mechanics, organization, types of writing, credibility, appeals, the list goes on. Another reason, though, are the assumptions that faculty might have regarding student preparation to write in their classes. Since the inception of the Writing Across the College program here at SLCC, it's not been unusual for responses to WAC surveys to include items like, students should know how to write when they get here, or I don't have time to teach writing, it's the English teacher's job, or why don't students just learn how to write in composition? There are two assumptions being made here. One, students learn to write for college before they get to college, and two, students learn how to write for all their college classes by taking the English composition requirement sequence. The first assumption is a challenging one and is addressed directly in the Writing Across the College mini video, Why Can't My Students Write? The second assumption is more complex and is the reason for developing this transforming talk. To begin, it is reasonable to assume that the English composition sequence prepares students for writing in their college classes. Composition is required of all de degree-seeking students. They're encouraged to take these courses early in their college careers. Additionally, many such composition courses are called things like writing for academic purposes, though this is not the case at SLCC, where students are on multiple educational pathways and the composition sequence must support all students, regardless of their educational goals. The assumption that composition is essentially a preparatory course for other courses has over the years established a national identity that composition courses are in service to the seemingly more important content courses of other disciplines. This has led to, or derived from, 
arguments about whether or not writing courses contain real content, which is understandably offensive to those who have dedicated their careers to the teaching and scholarship of writing and reading. So it's complicated, contested, and chaotic at times. It's the same here at SLCC as it is all across the country. This video will not be attempting to rectify these divisions that have existed for so long, but it strives to open the understanding of what the SLCC composition sequence does teach students so that faculty teaching in other areas can draw from these expectations and can make life easier both for themselves and their students. The composition sequence at SLCC is comprised of four distinct courses, English 0900 and English 0990, which are both known as Integrated Reading and Writing, English 1010, which is known as Intro to Writing, and English 2010, Intermediate Writing, or 2100, Technical Writing. However, it's important to note that while these courses ask students to work with increasingly complicated context, they encounter similar expectations in all courses. Because writing education is recursive, asking students to engage with the same concepts and activities repeatedly in multiple contexts. All composition courses engage students with issues of audience and purpose, of genre and processes. The recursiveness of writing instruction is perhaps one of the reasons students may claim that they already learned this in a previous writing course when they might be asked to do an assignment that is somewhat similar to one they encountered earlier. But as anyone who has tried to develop their writing abilities knows, to write something once does not mean that one has developed ease and mastery with it. Nor does experience in a particular document, for example, a report, mean that one will be immediately capable of writing a successful report in any situation. It is only over multiple experiences working in a particular type of writing for a particular audience that a type of mastery of that situation likely develops. So it would be possible for an English composition course sequence to select a particular type of writing, say an academic argument for the humanities, and require students to write that kind of document multiple times over a semester. Students in such a class would likely be able to produce quality work for such an assignment in a future humanities class. But then they may not be able to write a strong case study for a sociology class. This exposes the problem with the assumption that English composition courses prepare students to write for all their other courses in college. Think about it. With more than 20 departments at SLCC and multiple courses in each of those departments, and multiple kinds of assignments in each of those courses, exactly how would it be possible for one or two semesters of writing courses to prepare students to write effectively in all of those different circumstances for all of those different faculty? Therefore, most composition courses across the country, and specifically those in community colleges, focus on developing students' abilities to understand how reading and writing work so that they can better understand diverse writing situations and how to effectively respond to them. Instead of teaching, here's how to write, most composition programs teach, here's how to understand writing. Now go and practice that understanding in multiple contexts and situations. At SLCC, composition faculty have distilled the outcomes of our required courses into a series of interconnected questions that can apply to any kind of writing situation, academic, personal, pragmatic, or civic. By the time an SLCC student completes English 2010, they should know how to ask these questions of all their writing tasks. And as they continue through their studies and or into their careers, these questions should become automatic, hardly even consciously noticed as they analyze and engage with a writing task. Let's go through these questions so you are aware of what students are learning in composition courses and so that you can draw upon these concepts and areas as you assign and evaluate writing. First, let's look at need. When a writing task emerges, it is always in response to a need that carries with it an opportunity or request. A more precise word used by writing faculty is exigency, which you may encounter from students who have been paying particular attention in their writing courses, but most will be familiar with need. Need includes purpose, motivation, and situation or context. Why am I writing this? How do I feel about it? What am I responding to? These questions set the stage for the writing and help students to prepare and to focus. Next, 
Critical thought asks students to examine the expectations for a particular writing task. These questions are essential to all academic writing, of course, but they also apply to most other types of writing as well. For example, a bicycle shop manager will likely have to provide evaluations of the employees who work there. Knowing what resources and evidence are appropriate for this task is essential. Knowing what types of statements or arguments are valid to such an evaluation is important to effective writing as well. All writing involves multiple processes, regardless of how brief the task might be. We have to generate thought, commit it to language, and depending on the formality or importance of the writing, reconsider it before making it public. Students are taught that these processes are always changing depending on the context and the situation. Audience awareness is an ever-present element of the composition sequence. They learn that different readers mean that there are different writing situations regardless of the type of writing itself. A syllabus, for example, may be a single document written by a single author, but readers make it into multiple documents because each reader interprets the document from their own experiences. These questions are then necessarily never fully answerable, but they are essential to effective writing nonetheless. Different types of writing are known as genres in the composition sequence. A particular writing artifact may belong to one or multiple genres. It may be a hybrid or a fusion of genres, or it may push against genres. Regardless, genres help us understand what is being written and what can be written. For example, a letter is a type of genre. Letters can do many things. They can express love or rejection. They can inform or request. They can deny or accept. However, there are things that letters don't do, or at least don't do by themselves. Letters generally don't outline the assignments in a course. Letters generally don't present the findings from a lab experiment. If a writer chose to do these things in a letter, they might be fusing or hybridizing genres, or they may simply be writing ineffectively. Students learn that genres are a way of organizing language or understanding it, and that they become more powerful writers when they understand how to use genre to affect their communication choices. Genres are recognizable because of their conventions. Conventions are the rules or expectations of different types of writing. For example, to continue the focus on letters, we know we are encountering a letter when at least two things are present, an addressee and a message. A date may or may not be included, same with a signatory. But unless there is an addressee and a message, Regardless of how brief the text is, an artifact is not a letter. Is a will you marry me written by an airplane in the clouds a letter? Sure, it could be, or maybe not. If the addressee is there to see it, then yes, it's a letter. If the addressee is not there, then no, probably not. It's then just a bunch of cloudy words in the sky. Students learn that they need to inquire about the conventions of different genres because different genres set in different contexts with different audiences written for different needs, will have different conventions or rules for effective writing. Since the composition sequence at SLCC is dedicated to supporting all students, including those who intend to continue on to a bachelor's degree or higher, we do emphasize the importance of asking questions about how necessary standard edited English is for a particular writing task and citation and referencing rules as well. However, we also situate those needs within the larger project that is writing academic and non-academic alike. Taken together, this set of questions is what writing faculty work for their students to adopt, to become comfortable with, and to internalize. If students are able to do so, then they will be prepared to write in college, they will be prepared to write on their jobs, they will be prepared to write whenever they encounter the need to do so. All of these areas apply to all writing. If you think about it, even a simple text message requires a quick review of them though we do it so quickly we don't even notice. These questions don't mean that students will be prepared to write effectively the very first time they encounter a new writing task, but they'll certainly know what to ask. And they might ask you. Therefore, it's useful to consider these areas when you assign writing. Can you answer these of your writing assignments? If not, talk to your colleagues, attend a writing across the college workshop, or watch other videos, Invite the WAC director in for a conversation on how to understand these concepts and communicate them to your students. You'll find that you don't need to know how to teach writing 
in order to provide effective writing pedagogies to your students. Just join with the composition faculty to share an understanding of how writing works. If you are interested in looking more closely at how to support students writing in your classes, consider registering for other videos and workshops through the Office of Faculty Development or contact the Writing Across the College Director at wac at slcc.edu, call extension 3232, or check out the website at www.slcc.edu slash WAC.